At MCC, we take safety seriously, and we aim to create an environment free of any sexual discrimination, including sexual assault, sexual harassment, or stalking. We understand this can be a difficult subject, but we believe it is important to review. It is important that we all speak the same language, so we can be sure everyone knows what we are talking about when it comes to sexual discrimination. As part of the MCC community, we want you to understand key definitions that relate to sexual violence. Full definitions and other relevant information, such as state and college policy, can be found on the McHenry County College website. We will define key terminology and also share actions commonly associated with these terms since we are focused on understanding and preventing these behaviors at MCC. It is important to note that these actions can occur between members of the same or opposite sex. Sex discrimination is defined as an adverse action taken against an individual on the basis of gender or sex and includes sexual harassment, sexual misconduct, and sexual violence. The focus of this video is to help you understand all the types of sex discrimination and the support available for victims. Let's talk about consent. Consent is a voluntary agreement to engage in sexual activity. Let's talk about the scope of consent. Someone who is incapacitated cannot consent. Past consent does not imply future consent. Silence or an absence of resistance does not imply consent. Consent to engage in sexual activity with one person does not imply consent to engage in sexual activity with another. Consent can be withdrawn at any time. Coercion, force, or threat of either invalidates consent. Incapacitation, such as due to the use of drugs or alcohol when a person is asleep or unconscious or because of an intellectual or other disability that prevents the student from having the capacity to give consent. The absence of no does not mean consent. Sexual violence refers to the physical sexual acts perpetrated against a person's will or where a person is incapable of giving consent. A number of different acts fall into the category of sexual violence, including rape, sexual assault, human trafficking, date rape drugs, fondling, and sexual coercion. Sexual assault is defined as any type of sexual contact or behavior that occurs by force or without consent of the recipient of the unwanted sexual activity, including when the victim lacks capacity to consent. Sexual contact can occur either vaginally or anally. Relationship violence means violence by a person who has been in a romantic or intimate relationship with the victim. In these instances, one person is using either emotional or physical abuse to maintain power over the other. These behaviors can include control, isolation, and harassment commonly via social media or texting. This can also include physical abuse such as kicking, pushing, grabbing, slapping, or choking. Relationship violence includes both domestic and dating violence. Many times college is when you experience your first relationships. Unfortunately, sometimes violent behavior occurs and it is not acceptable. Sexual harassment is defined as unwelcome conduct of a sexual nature which denies or limits, on the basis of sex, a student's ability to participate in or to receive benefits, services, or opportunities in the college's programs or activities. Sexual harassment includes any unwelcome sexual advances or requests for sexual favors or any conduct of a sexual nature. Examples include sexual jokes, whistling, leering, sexual propositions, and or sexual violence. Retaliation means any materially adverse action or credible threat of a materially adverse action taken against any person for having made a good faith report of misconduct. Stalking means a course of conduct directed at a specific person that would cause a reasonable person to fear for her, his, or others' safety, or to suffer substantial emotional distress. Examples of stalking include waiting outside of a place, such as your class or home, 
harassing you or your loved ones via social media or texts, showing up unexpectedly and leaving gifts. Stalking can lead someone to change their routine to avoid contact with this person. It is important to think about what you would do because you may be faced with some of these situations as a member of the Scots community. Let's watch some examples. Hey, Steve. Uh, Aaron, how's it going, man? Uh, it's going good. Um, look, man, uh, I was hanging out with Stacy at the party. Oh, yeah. And, uh, dude, she's really, she's really hot. She's hot, dude. Um, and, well, we were, we were going to have sex, and, well, I needed a condom because okay. I don't have one. So All right, I, I, was, I was wondering if you have one. Well, I mean, I do have one, but I don't think that I should give it to you. Why not? Well, we've all been drinking, and she's really not... She can barely walk. It, well, would, it wouldn't be that's right. That's fine. That, that's the point, dude. She's drunk, man. She can't say no. It's well, perfect. It, she's drunk. She's not really, like, in the right mind to choose whether she can or she can't or she wants to or doesn't want to. It's, you're you're going to use a girl like that. Dude, come on. It's, it's, it's my one chance. Come I'm, on. I'm sure it's not going to be your only just, chance in just life. Just help me out. Just help me out. No. Not this time. I've got you back normally, but not this time. It's not right. All right, thanks for nothing, man. There was not consent because the female student was intoxicated. The absence of no does not equal consent. We did see positive bystander response from the friend. We've been working on this project for a long time. Yeah, so we got a ways to go. You know, I was thinking about taking a break if you... Yeah, I mean, I, I gotta oh. get home early, so... Sure, we'll we give you like a quick tour around the house. No, that's okay. Lay I down. Just, just want to finish and then take off. All right. All right. How you doing on that? Good. Almost done. So. Almost done? Mm -hmm. Would you like another? Sure, thanks. <laughs> what? Did you see this? What? Male students in ancient Greece used to wear penis necklaces <laughs> around their necks as a sign of status. <laughs> Jesus. How times have changed. Oh. Yeah, they have. <laughs> you tired? Yeah. Just lightheaded. lightheaded. <laughs> well, maybe now. Would you like to lie down? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds good. Right. Well, follow me. <laughs> In this example, the male student was being manipulative and using alcohol to coerce the student into sexual relations. You could see by the female student's body language and initial response, she was hesitant. When you are intoxicated, you are not capable of giving consent. Also, it is always best to stay in public places to avoid potential harmful situations. Group projects can be completed in the MCC library or cafeteria. Otherwise, you can go to a public setting such as a coffee shop. Do not go to someone else's home that you do not trust. So, I haven't really seen you in a while. Uh, what, did, yeah. what, did, what did you do over the summer break? Oh, I didn't really do much. I kind of just, you know, stayed home and laid out. What about you? Uh, I went to Hawaii, actually. <laughs> Yeah, I took a really? trip with my yeah with my family. Oh my gosh! It was a, yeah, it was a lot of fun actually. I've always wanted so. to go to Hawaii. How you, was it? Oh, it was beautiful. You know, I I missed you. You did? <laughs> yeah, I was I was gonna call you, but that's so weird because I was gonna call you too. Really? <laughs> I was just really nervous because um, I thought you were like with somebody else already. No, so. No. Did you, did you maybe want to go out sometime or, so, or something? Really? Yeah. I would love to. Really? Yeah, yeah, I would really love to. Okay. I mean, we could get a coffee or something, cliche. <laughs> I don't no, know. that was the first time we met, don't you remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
That's right. That was fun. I really liked it. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. This is a positive example of consent. In this instance, both are willing participants, and there was no overconsumption of alcohol. To recap, consent must be mutual, and the absence of no does not mean yes. If alcohol is involved, you must be very careful that ambiguity does not occur, because this does not equal consent. Violations of sexual misconduct does not only refer to students. It is possible that you may question the actions and behaviors of an employee. Let's watch an example. Did you even get this homework? No. I wasn't there that day, sorry. Uh, I, I just I just got a message from Professor Black about a study group. When are you guys going? What study group? What study group? Um, we didn't get that. It says, uh, I'm having a study group over at my house tonight at 7 p.m. Yeah, I didn't get that. I didn't get that. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like someone's going to be getting some tonight. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Oh, man. Are you okay? I'm kind of weirded out. Like, what does he want? Why is he just asking me? I don't know. It's, it's a uh, weird. Maybe you should Ooh. tell someone. Yeah, I guess it's good yeah, if you're scary. not. Yeah. Should I report it or something? Like, that's. Or is it not that big of a deal? I don't, I don't know. know. Like, I mean, you're the only one who got it. Don't go. Right. Like, that's definitely yeah. not normal. Okay. Uh, in my opinion, I would I would probably report it. Yeah. Um, so if you if, if you, you can tell the campus, campus, campus police, police. Campus or tell them that okay. tell them that this is making you feel uncomfortable. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sorry. I'm pretty sure teachers like aren't supposed to do that. Like, you're not suspects. supposed to go over to his okay. house. That's weird. Especially alone. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll um I'll go in tomorrow. I'll report it. Okay. Good idea. Yeah. All right. And whatever. Back to homework. <laughs> Please don't put things back to this. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody got chapter three? No, no. no I'm sorry. Employees and students must maintain professional interactions. It is important to share with the Title IX coordinator if there is inappropriate actions taking place. Do not fear retaliation, as MCC has policies in place so you cannot be punished for sharing your concern. All communications between students and employees must be kept professional. Employees and students are expected to comply with college policy and procedures regarding appropriate behaviors and communications. If you feel you are in a situation with an employee that is a possible violation of what we have discussed in this video, please contact MCC's Title IX Coordinator, the Assistant Vice President of Academic and Student Affairs, at 815-455-8613. MCC expects absolute professionalism and appropriateness from our employees to our students, and it is not okay if this professional relationship has been breached. The question now becomes, what are some things you can do to prevent yourself from being on the wrong side of behaviors that lead to sexual violence, relationship violence, and stalking? We would like to provide you with some tips. How can you make good decisions at critical moments? Communication is key to consent. Know your limits and your expectations and make them clear. You also need to listen. Be respectful of and responsive to what is being communicated to you. Ask for clarity if something is uncertain. And lastly, trust your gut. If something doesn't feel right, it probably isn't. It can be challenging to make sound decisions when you are intoxicated, so stay away from alcohol and drug use. In the real world, every decision has a consequence, and understanding those consequences helps you make good decisions at critical moments. Social media is a lot of fun and a staple of communication. It is important that you keep your information safe on social media, as social media can be commonly used in stalking. Never post details such as your class schedule or where you are going. Always make sure to update your privacy settings since these change frequently. Also, if you receive something concerning, take a screenshot and share with your resources. As a member of the MCC Scots community, it is our responsibility to intervene when we see a problem. The safety of our community relies on the responsibility of each of our members to make good decisions at crucial moments. See something, say something. 
We are going to show an example of bystander intervention. Learn how to use skills such as interruption and distraction. If you see a problem, get in the habit of saying something and doing something if it is safe to do so. Let's see an example. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, you can, um, you can actually stay if you want. I'll, I'll be able to drive you home. Really? Yeah. <gasps> if you want to stay a little while, yeah. yeah. Hey, no, I'm going to you... stay. I need to get you home. We're finished with everything, Why? so we should probably yeah, take we're off. Finished. Tara, we can hang off. I think you need to relax. We're just going to hang up yeah, a bit. I'll relax. drive her home. I think you need to back off a little bit. You've both been drinking, and she needs to go home. Tara, I only had one beer. You need to relax. Yeah, but she had way more than one. It's fine. I'll drive that's her home. That's okay. That's why I'm not driving. Yeah, but that's why I should drive you home. You shouldn't stay here. But I'm going to have her stay here. I'll drive her home. He'll yeah, drive me home. but that's a bad idea. So we're going to go. No, have her Will stay you here. Me bring her to the car. I don't care. I don't care. Great. Okay. All right, we're going to go. Thank you. Tara, come on. Bye. Take care of one another. See something, say something. The sober student was able to help her friend. Make sure you are mindful that if you came with someone, leave with that person too. We are now going to talk about resources and what to do if you are a bystander. If you have suspicion that a person needs help, there are a number of options. You can call your local police, intervene by checking in with the person who may be in need, or reaching out to an MCC employee. The important takeaway is that you recognize the potential harm and take action. If you are in a situation where you are uncomfortable at McHenry County College, please call MCC Campus Police at 815-455-8733 or just 8733 from a campus phone. The police are here to help. In the case of an emergency, always call 911. See something, say something. McHenry County College has many other resources for students in need. We have counselors available on campus for both personal and academic counseling. You can schedule an appointment by calling 815-455-8765 or visiting A257. If you feel someone is interfering with your learning environment, please contact the Student Conduct Office at 815-455-8696. There are many reasons people do not feel comfortable reporting inappropriate behaviors. One reason is fear of getting in trouble for a different violation, such as alcohol use. In cases where there has been a minor violation, we will focus on the assault, not the minor violation. Some resources allow for anonymous reporting, such as MCC's Tip Now tool. The Tip Now system sends an anonymous message to police investigators at any time, day or night. Simply call or text your information to 815-496-6262 or email mchenry at tipnow.com. When you let us know about a crime you may have witnessed or provide information about suspicious activity, you may help prevent a human-caused emergency. Another great resource for all of this information is www.mchenry.edu slash sexual misconduct. This website hosts all of the college's information regarding policies and procedures for sexual discrimination, as well as campus and local resources. We have a strong community here at MCC, one that is designed to help you grow and develop. Ensuring that you are safe and cared for is important to us and integral to our institutional mission. You've been bombarded with messages about what college is like, what relationships are like, and what life is like. Unlike the fantasy world of media and advertising, in the real world, every decision has a consequence. Understanding consequences will help you make good decisions during crucial moments. The safety of our community relies on the responsibility of each of our members to make good decisions at those crucial moments. So challenge yourself, experience new things, and have fun. While you do, remember to communicate well, trust your gut, and know that alcohol and drugs impede good decisions at critical moments. MCC community, respect your fellow Scots. I appreciate your support in ensuring the care, safety, and respect of the entire MCC Scott community.